Well, we're gonna bust the caps loose. See what we got under there. See if it goes down eight feet, like in the back with hollow cord. Maybe they filled the front. I don't know. Maybe I'll be surprised, but I doubt it. I doubt it. These guys are very minimalistic with what they did building this house. Hurry up and get a check. On to the next one. shy on this one so here we go the caps are all off it does not go down eight feet I got 57 inches so I just did a rough figure and I'm gonna need three yards of concrete in order to fill the cores and get myself up about two inches higher than this concrete look I found a couple of J bolts they got one here Apparently just to hold the caps. It was in between the caps, I'll show you. Look at this one down here. I mean, you didn't fill the core in, bud. So what is that J-Bowl doing? What are we doing there? What are we doing? See the threads? I mean, you're supposed to drill the plate. Stick the plate on there. Couldn't handle it, huh? Look at that, it's doing nothing. So yeah, I'm gonna have to cut these two, just so I can fill the cores in. Here's another J-bolt over here, but at least they filled this one in. But still, what's it doing, holding caps? The problem was the wall, you know, the studs were in the concrete, but it was open here. So all the weight pushing down, that whole wall could have just kicked out this way, right off of these block, I mean, these guys had no clue what they were doing. No clue. Let's see if I can do better. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I'm here. I feel like a baked potato with extra butter and sour cream. But I'm going to do the foreman today. Got some 2 by 8s So it's going to be about 16 inches deep. So I got to stack two 2 by 8s so I just cut these with the grinder, a little DeWalt. And yeah, it looks like I got plenty of room for concrete to go down in those cores. So we'll get this nice and solid. we get these forms in. So I got my string line set up as to where the plate is gonna go. As you can see, it's inside the block. So I got the line level. So down this end, see, I, I want to put this foundation, this footer, I want to put it in level all the way down. I don't want to follow the slope because apparently this is a sad face. So over there by that beam, it slopes back down the other way. And down here, it slopes this way. So I'm not following none of that. So what I figure is, I'm gonna have four and a quarter here. Four and a quarter down this end. My footer will be higher than the inside existing concrete. Down this end, it'll be two and a quarter. So there's a two inch difference, but that's all right. I want my wall to go in level. I want everything to be level here. So the other problem is, you know, this is all out of square. You see that hole there? That is plumb with that plate up there. 
but it takes my string line way in the block. It's gonna throw everything off. So I had to adjust this pin and uh, I don't know, I, I may wind up at the end, the concrete that sticks out a little bit is gonna be sticking out further down here than down there. I mean, these are the problems you run into with these old buildings. Everything's out of plumb, out of level, out of square. So, I mean, you can only do your best. But I mean, whatever's revealed down here, if there's anything revealed after I put the dirt back and the flowers and all, I'll probably stucco that also and paint it with that self-cleaning paint. So, I mean, it is what it is. And if one end's sticking out further than the other too much, I can always fix it with the stucco. I can go heavy with the base coat on the one end, try to build it out. I mean, these are the situations you get into with these jobs. All right, so now I'm gonna put my forms in. Well, it's another baked potato day, but this time, not just extra butter and sour cream, I'm gonna need some bacon on there too. But uh, someone asked me about this beam here. What's the purpose of this beam? So before I get into where I'm at with this, I'll show you. So this is the garage here, okay? And then there's a family room. The family room also has a concrete floor. There's no basement under the family room. There's no basement under the garage. So I uh, can't really show the permits, but uh, the basement starts right there at the door. So I believe this beam here, this beam runs north and south. So down in the basement, there's another beam that runs that way. So I believe this is a support for that. I just don't know why it's all the way over here. I mean, did you really need all that all the way over to that door? You know what I mean? You really needed all that for this beam? I could be wrong, but let me show you down in the basement. All right, so down in the basement. Here's the steps. So the front door where I showed you up there is right here. You know what I mean? So the front door is here and here. Here's the front door. So you come in here, you see that beam up there? I could show you in the utility room better. So here's a beam that runs east to west. And it goes through this block wall here under the family room. And then over to the garage, probably connecting to that other beam, I would think anyway. That's the only thing I could think. And then it has a couple lolly columns I hear some people call them. We got one in the corner here that holds that beam. And then somebody boxed it in and I just painted it. So that's the only thing I could think of. All right, so it appears people are getting hung up on my one video about when I said exterior drywall. So here it is here. You know, you ran up behind the brick here. I mean, See it? It has the black face. What is that? It's drywall. I'm sorry that some of you believe everything you read when somebody says exterior sheeting. I mean, you can't put a screw in this and it holds. It's drywall. Look at it. So, yeah. It's drywall. See it? Drywall. Exterior drywall. Just wanted to show you that I did coat the beam. Just to say I did, you know what I mean? Why not? It's open. It's never gonna be seen again by me. It'll probably outlast me. I just hit it with some red guard waterproofing. Be all right. Now I gotta get back to the uh, the forms.